Hello friends, here Dr. BC and today I am going to show you the full performance review of Red Mi 1S, the cheapest smartphone from Xiaomi. This is my Xiaomi Red Mi 1S. For our previous video on unboxing and quick review of this phone, please click on the link flashing on your screen. Now in this video episode, I will show you the full performance review of this phone. First of all, I will show you some test on this phone. The first I will start from this unto 2 benchmark. Tap to open. I think it is taking some time. Initialization. Uh, that is uh, version number is 5. Okay, it is taking some time. Now it is loaded up. Here you can see that our previous run give him a 19,659 score. Now let's test it again. Now tap this test. Okay, this test will take some time. I will fast forward this for you. Now it's, you can see that it is loading the result. Here you can see that uh, that is MI3W where is my device okay it is now on the bottom you can see that it total score that it can get in this benchmark run is 20,549 which is uh, higher than the previous run and if you see that google nexus 4 and uh, xiaomi mi2 mi3 and uh, always the mi3w and htc1 m80 all are on the top uh, now let's see the detail as you can see that the CPU is good and support large apps and multitasking RAM excellent 2D graphics general 3D graphics good fluently support most games uh, here are the couple of the score you can pause this video to see the each uh, value now go back and uh, now if you see the device info on this you can see that the brand is Xiaomi and the model is HM1SW version uh, Android version 4.3 and CPU model and uh, render resolution rear camera all I have tell you in my previous unboxing video you can stop and pause this video at this time and see the specification by this n 2 benchmark now I will quit that okay and also the background process okay now the next benchmark i want to show you is the nanomark 2 let's tap to open as you can see that my previous run give this phone 52.9 frame per second now rerun the test this nanomark 2 is a especially made for testing the graphics as you can see that the uh, counter is going uh, in between 50 and 60 sometimes it touch the 60 let's see how much it get on this nanomark 2 okay it is completed 48.3 which is lower as my previous run let's publish that so you can see that it is a quite good device for gaming uh, the total frame per second is around 48.3 right now but uh, in my previous run i got around 52.9 frame per second this depend upon also on the background processes and the conditions more or less we can get if around 50 frame per second on this device so which is a good now i will quit that benchmark and again close the background processes and then the next benchmark that i want to show you is the quadrant standard tap to open and then run the full benchmark uh, as previous unto two this will also take some time to complete but as you can see that it is loading very fast it completed the CPU section. Now it is on IO section. I will fast forward this video for you. As you can see that the screen is very very reflective. Uh, you can see the image of my uh, tripod and my camera on the display. So it is necessary to use a anti-reflecting film on that. Now as you can see that quadrant standard has completed tap yes to proceed and here you can see that the my device is on top on the list and that below is the htc one x now let's see the total score as you can see that that is very very small 
टोटल इज एट थाउजेंड स्कोर एंड सी पी यू स्कोर इज थर्टी थ्री थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी वन मेमोरी टू थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड फोर्टी वन आई ओ थ्री इज थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड टू टू डी ट्रिपल थ्री एंड थ्री डी डबल टू थ्री जीरो और डेट इज द टोटल स्कोर डेट क्वार्टर हेड गिव दिस टू दिस रेड एम आई वन एस नाउ लेट्स क्विट डेट ओके नाउ अगेन आई विल क्लोज ऑल द बैकग्राउंड प्रोसेस इज नाउ द नेक्स्ट टेस्ट डेट आई वॉन्ट टू शो यू इज द मल्टी टेच टेस्ट नाउ आई विल put the phone on the bench and now i will put the finger of my one hand and as you can see that it uh, detect all the five fingers now let's suppose check as you can see that this display has total 10 touch points uh, that this display has 10 touch points which is very good so we can see that this uh, lcd is very premium and the touch or digitizer on this lcd is also a premium it has 10 touch points which is very good for a such a low range device now let's quit that okay now the next test that i want to show you is the cpu z let's step that that is not a test uh, this will show you the uh, specification of this phone first you can see that it has arm cortex a7 processor with 1.59 gigahertz frequency the architecture the total cores is 4 and clock speeds varies from 300 megahertz to 1.59 gigahertz as you can see the currently cpu 0 is working and rest of this 1 2 and 3 are stopped currently cpu load is 29% the vendor is qualcom and gpu render is adreno 305 okay that is very good and as you can see the system the model number manufacturer board display hardware android is 4.3 and you can see that the kernel version is 3.4.0 and the screen resolution is 720 into 1280 and total dpi is around 320 dpi which is good total ram is 873 mb but on the paper you can see that it has 1 gb of ram a uh, total available ram currently 28% is remaining and the internal storage is 5.72 and out of that 0.85 gb is available no root ss now see the battery as you can see the health is good level is 71% power source battery and it is discharging the technology is lithium ion and currently voltage and temperature as you seen on the display now this has couple of sensor as you can see that it has accelerometer which is calibrated uh, i think magnetometer is there uh, gyroscope proximity and ambient line sensor gravity rotational game rotational vector and orientation sensor this has couple of very good sensor now uh, nothing more let's quit that okay so uh, till now you can see that this phone is very very good in performance let's finally i will show you the one game to test its performance before that i will uh, uh, close all the background processes so that you can see the game itself uh, that game is temple run 2 and i am running this game only to show you the performance it this game is from amagi studio before loading this game i will show you the display angle as you can see that the display angle is very very good the screen is quite visible from any uh, edge or any slant or any obtuse angle uh, okay that is very very good screen uh, that is a specialty of this ips display which is as hd resolution so you can see that the display is very very good now just uh, see how this game perform on this xiaomi red mi 1s as you can see that there is no lag the display orientation sensor is working fine oh i have miss okay skip that uh, again run okay okay this is i think my first run i have skipped the intro portion as you can see that the display is working well the touch is fine and there is no problem in playing this game all is very very responsive okay the display angle is, is very very good all thing is working fine now i will pause this game and uh, go to menu so you can see that this xiaomi red mi 1s is very very good and the performance is very very great you will hardly find any lag and any hanging problem on this 
uh, Xiaomi Red Mi 1s. It has better end to toe score. It is good according to quadrant standard. The total frame per second is quite good according to Nano Mark 2 and the specification is although very very good so at a price of 5999 rupees you are getting a very very good performance device and it is very very handy also the look is very very pretty and uh, this device uh, hold very uh, well in your hand thanks to its um, quad core qualcomm 400 uh, series processor which make this device a powerful machine and it has a very beautiful camera on the back also so in conclusion i want to say that this xiaomi red mi 1s is very good device and you will love to use this device and this is very very cheap also so this completed the performance review of red mi 1s if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and the subscription link is shown on your screen and also don't forget to give thumbs up through this video and also don't forget to share this video with your friend for more videos on this phone, keep watching BCD Tech. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye.